God says, what will protect us finally? Through his word. God makes it very clear. In the end, what will protect us? In the book of James chapter 1 verse 22, the Bible says like this, Be all of you doers of the word. Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own souls. God says that, be ye doers of the word, be ye doers of the Bible. He says that be ye followers of the Bible, observers of the Bible. We need to do the Bible. It is doable. God says that we need to be doers of the word and not hearers only. We get God's word from various places, through different sources, through different people, we get God's word. God says that listening is not enough. God says that we need to put them into practice. Believing is not enough. We need to obey them as well. That's what God says. And then he says that be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. He says that if you do not do God's word, you will be deceiving yourself. No need for others to deceive you. He says that you yourself will be deceiving yourself if you do not practice the Bible. My brother, my sister, my friend, wake up. God's word is everything. Finally, God's word will protect you, protect me, protect us, or protect anyone who believes and obeys the Bible. Wake up, brother, sister, my friend. In the book of Matthew chapter 5, verse 18, Jesus said this, For verily I say unto you, Till heaven and earth pass one jot or one tittle, in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. God says that heaven and earth may pass away, but not my word. He makes it very, very clear. What, what example can we expect from God other than this? When, when heaven and earth is gone, will we remain? He says that even if the heaven and earth pass away, but not my word. So God says that God's word is everything. My brother, my sister, my friend, take Bible very seriously. God means it. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 2, God says like this. But to this man will I look, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit, and trembles at my word. God says that. God will look unto those people who are poor and of a contrite spirit and trembles at his word. You see, God's word is nothing but law. It's a law. Whatever God says, whatever God speaks, it becomes a law. When we obey the law, the law will protect us. We all know that. God's words are nothing but principles. Whatever God's word says, when we do that, we will receive, we will get what it promises. It's principle. It's principle. It is doable. It has to be done. God makes it very clear. In the book of 1 John chapter 2, verse 17, God says like this, The world passes away. The world passes away and the last thereof. But he that does the will of God abides forever. You see, if you want to abide forever, if you want to remain forever, God says that we must do the will of God. Where the will of God is found, it is found in the word of God, which is the Bible. My brother, my sister, my friend, want to live forever? Then believe the Bible and obey the Bible. Simple, God's word. In the book of John, chapter 12, verse 48, God says something. Listen to this. He that rejects me and receive, receives not my words has one thing that will judge him. The word I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. God says that. One thing that will judge every one of us in the last day, on the day of judgment. What is that? That is nothing but the word of God. Who said this? Jesus. 
my brother, my sister, my friend, wake up. Wake up. Bible is everything. Bible is everything. Bible is God's official word. Bible is God's word. Whatever Bible says, believe it. Obey it. And God will keep his word. When we obey the Bible, when we believe the Bible, and when we do what the Bible says, we will for sure receive what the Bible promises. It takes obedience to receive what God promised. My brother, my sister, my friend, in the book of Psalm 138 verse 2, God says like this, You have magnified your word above all your name. You have magnified, the psalmist says, you have magnified your word above all your name. In the sense, God's word is everything. It's everything. Bible is everything to God. God's word, heaven and earth will pass away, but not God's word. My brother, my sister, my friend, wake up. Wake up, believe the Bible and obey the Bible. The Bible will protect you. The word will protect you. That's what we read in the book of John, chapter 1, verse 1. It says that in the beginning, in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. The Word of God is nothing but God in Word. Always remember that. My brother, my sister, my friend, wake up. Word is everything. And Jesus has another name called Word. In the same chapter, John chapter 1 verse 14 we read this the word became the flesh and dwelt among us that was Jesus you got it Jesus is everything in other words that's what God says my brother my sister my friend take Bible very seriously believe it and obey it so that you can receive what it promises that is the key obedience is the key to blessings of God when you obey God God has no option but to bless you. My brother, my sister, my friend, remember, always remember, it is God's word which will protect us. It is the Holy Bible which will protect us. Believe it and obey it so that you too will receive what it promises. My brother, my sister, my friend, God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. Until we meet again, may God continue to be with you as well. Amen. Hallelujah.